How are you guys? Today we're going to have a chat about Japanese armoured cars or at least the ones that make up my collection that I wargame with. Um, Japanese armoured cars, if you look them up and go to a few different references and sources you will see that the information is very contradictory. With some armoured cars, with some authors randomly swapping types, type numbers, type 91 mislabeled as type 92, type 93 mislabeled as type 91, etc, etc, etc. So today I'm not going to list these vehicles by type. I'll just say the manufacturer's name, who they served with, what their armament was, and where they campaigned for Japan. We're going to kick off with the 1929 Renault armoured car, which was uh, made by Renault for the French military, but the French military rejected it. Japan apparently had a trade delegation in France at the time, heard about it, went to see it, asked for a bit more armour around the radiator grill and a few uh, period changes, and it entered Japanese service in 1929. It only served with the it served with the army, only served with the army, it was armed with the Vickers and its armour was about 8mm. It served only in Manchuria and was a very rare armoured car to see after like 1936-37. So I don't think it was much of a goer as far as Japan's armoured cars go. You don't even see them donated to Manchu Korean forces. The next armoured car we're going to look at is the Vickers Crosley. Now, Vickers Crossley is also another type that is frequently misnamed with a type. So as I said, I'm not going to need name types here. This is the Vickers Crossley. It, entered, it started entering service with the Japanese military in 1925. The last shipments that arrived with the Japanese military by 1927. It served with the Navy, as you can see in these colours, and it served with the Army. It served in uh, Manchuria and the first and second battles of Shanghai. It had a crew of five and it had six millimeters of armor and two medium Vickers medium machine guns in the turret. A uh, very well respected armor car, probably the best armor car you could get if you wanted to pre present Japanese forces in China in the 30s. I would definitely go for the Vickers Crosby. These are laser printed mod models. The next type of armoured car we're going to look at is the Vickers Wolseley Sumida armoured car which ended service in about 1928. Both the army and the navy used this armoured car. It had a crew of four. It served in the Manchurian campaign, the Kumrul Shang campaign, Shanghai 32 and 37. Um, there is even a turretless one that served but um, I don't know too much about that. I don't know if it served in combat but I do know that this particular armoured car did see all the combat throughout China. It is also a famous armoured car because it appears in Tintin the Blue Lotus. So there you go that's the Vickers Wolseley Sumida armoured car that I scratch built myself. Next we're going to look at the Chiyoda Shiak. Now the Chiyoda Shiak is a very rare armoured car. Only three were made. They were made from uh, scrapped Austin armoured cars, resourced and put on a new design on the Suzu chassis. Then they were sent to the Kwantung army. As I said, only three of them were made. They were armed with two medium machine guns. Um, three were made. Most references that you see, visual references to these, are that they're served with Manchu Kowan forces. So they didn't see much action outside of Manchuria before they were handed over to the Manchu Kowan forces. But um, an interesting armored car. And again, one that you could make lots of different camouflage pattern schemes for. This is the army type 
Oh. This is the Osaka armored car. And it only served with the army. It has two medium machine guns, one in the turret, one in the one in the forward position next to the driver. It has eight millimeters of armor and between 50 and 300 of these were built depending on what figures you want to quote it served in um, from 1933 onwards in all campaigns that japanese conducted in china these are certainly a part of it um, nice little armor car again um, from shapeways next we move to the sumida Model P. Now the Sumida Model P was only in service with the SNLF and a very small number were made, perhaps two or three. Um, it served in the Second Battle of Shanghai and um, this one I made myself. It served only with the Navy as you can see. It, it had a turret, turret mounted Type 3 6.5mm machine gun and then it had 6.5 millimeter LMGs, four of them that could be mounted throughout the vehicle from part firing ports. So it's a nice little um, armored car. As I said, I made it myself. You won't, you can't quite get the right one. Now, we here we have the Navy armored car. Now this. The only way you could say this is it could be a Type 92 or it could be a Type 93. But anyway, um, it has a, tr a Sumida truck chassis with a roller underneath the engine. It only served with the Navy. It had a 6.5 millimeter medium machine gun in the turret and up to six light machine guns could be mounted throughout various ports in the, in the body of the vehicle. Um, as I said, it served only in Shanghai from 1937. It was a very rare vehicle. It had a five-man crew and some sometimes it's known as the Hokoku armored car. But however that correct that is, I'm not going to say. Because as I said, this is a very contradictory subject. I'm only going to talk about the armored cars that are in my collection that I'm fortunate enough to get war game with. And here at the last, we have two that are also made, two Dawa armored cars. Now, Dawa armored cars, there's not a lot known about them, very, very little. These are made from pictures. There's a picture of three of them. And um, I built two of them. The paint job, it, it was a little bit of a guess, but recently I found uh, colorized pics that say I wasn't too far off, but you know, you never know with colorized colors. Um, the Dawa armored cars served with the Manchu Koan army. They may well have served with the Mengjiang Imperial Forces. Uh, Mengjiang Imperial Forces, sorry. They could very well have been never, never crewed by Manchu Koans, but always crewed by Japanese. In fact, there are a number of Dawa armored cars because Dawa was an auto plant that the Japanese army set up in Manchuria to produce trucks. And all these armored cars were based on truck bodies. And there are a number of them, they're all hard to, they're very different to look at and easy to differentiate, but uh, numbers information are very conflicting and very spartan. So there's about five or six more armor cars I would like to add to my collection from Manchu Korn and uh, Japanese forces, but that'll be another video another day. Um, just remember that like in China, Japanese armor cars were playing a premium part. Um, it was a massive country, the Japanese army was only on rails and roads, so the off-road capability of armoured cars didn't really come into play. Um, it's, 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 it's very, I don't know of any cases where they were fighting the Western Allies, where the Western Allies met Japanese armoured cars. I don't know of any cases like that, but I mainly war game in China, so that would be an interesting thing to find out. Um, so thanks for your time. Remember, the Chinese soldier fought with the least for the longest. See ya.